Man, you would think we're out in the uh, bay right now, but we're not. We're sitting out here, fresh water, delta, all the way through, and you see these tugboats. Now these tugboats will bring these large ships, large cargo ships and all that stuff, all the way from the delta down to the Sacramento out to the bay. And uh, these things will kind of guide it through some of the sharp turns. And uh, yeah, pretty fascinating, man, to see this stuff out here. I mean, you're out here with like wakeboard boats right next to these tugboats. It's incredible. Well, uh, here's something interesting. Here's a boat that's uh, been claimed by the Delta. Uh, from what I have been told, it was uh, stranded here and it floated for a while and then uh, people scavenged stuff off of it and it eventually sank. Uh, there is nobody that comes and takes these off of the Delta. Uh, this thing will be here until the water claims the rest of the boat and it'll fall apart in the water. Uh, just kind of interesting aspect of the Delta. You'll see things uh, kind of half buried and you know deserted and all that stuff along the water's edge all along this whole waterway structure pretty interesting when it comes to water sports the delta is a lot of fun you can get some good tube rides, lots of choppy water out here, or you can get some good glass if you get up early enough. The channels are kind of tight, so you gotta be careful when you're dumping someone off a tube. You gotta keep your eyes open. There's a lot of inexperienced boaters here, a lot of people renting stuff, a lot of people new at boating, so you really gotta keep your eyes open. Uh, as far as wakeboarding, like I said, you can get up early enough before nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, you should be able to get some good water down some of those channels. Really good, but it can be really tight, so you just gotta keep your eyes open. That's what it's all about here. But yeah, water sports, a lot of fun right here on the Delta. All right, so check this out. We're here right in the middle of the Delta, one of the main channels, and you'll see this large shipping container. Look at this thing, it's huge. Now, I believe they call this mothing, and that is when they bring a ship in and they uh, totally strip it down, and what's left here are, is just a chunk of steel that's floating. Um, eventually, they will uh, bring someone in with some torches and break this down. It's probably been here for years. It'll probably be here for years. Uh, just a really interesting part of the Delta, man. Kind of eerie, man, like a ghost ship. Really cool. And these are lined up all down the Delta, man. Various ships that once were in the ocean. Well, check this out. We're here, uh, man, we made it all the way to the end of the Delta uh, at Stockton. And um, it, man, look at this. You think you're in the ocean, but you're not. This is all fresh water, and this is the Delta, and this is the a lot of these yachts right here are actually ocean vessels. They'll make their way out through the Delta, through uh, Antioch, Sacramento, and then all the way out to the Bay. Uh, pretty interesting. Really some high-end yachts. And uh, it's hard to imagine that, oh yeah, I have a yacht and I keep it in Stockton because it ain't even close to the ocean. But uh, that's what they are. And uh, really amazing, man. I swear, this feels like it's something like uh, San Francisco or San Diego, man. Really cool. So right here, this is really neat. Got a ballpark uh, right here next to this little bay area in Stockton. And um, got some kind of a convention center behind it. And I can only imagine how many baseballs were knocked into this uh, little bay area. Really neat, man. But uh, see that green stuff right there? It's some kind of water lily. I'm not sure what the official name is, but it is all over the Delta. You're gonna run over this stuff probably your whole trip. Um, really gotta be careful. They actually offer uh, prop insurance at some of the loading areas. But uh, yeah, so you can expect uh, a lot of things floating in the water here. So if you have, I don't know, a spare prop, you might wanna bring it if you have it. But uh, that's one of the uh, you know hazards of this this waterway. 
Hey everybody, we're here with uh, Dave Westerback. He's kind of a, I would say you're a pro of the Delta. At least you know the Delta quite a bit, right? Yeah, I've been out here since about 15. 15, wow, yeah. okay. Uh, we're here and of course this is the big 4th of July event. There's a lot of boats out here and the Hilton's, right? Are you had mentioned? Manville, um, Hilton's on the island over here and they sponsor this event every year. Okay, Paris Hilton's parents or Correct. grandparents or, right? Yeah, got a little drink. Um, so, Tell us a little bit about the Delta because this is, you know, there's a lot of water here. I, a lot of people may not understand how much water is in the Delta, but there is like, I mean, hundreds of miles more maybe, right, of waterways. There's about 100 miles or more of navigable waterways. Um, it goes on forever. It's built a long time ago by the Chinese. And uh, Sacramento River, San Joaquin River, they started venturing off from there and expanding it. You can go endless. There's endless places to visit. I noticed that uh, you go down by Stockton and they have like shipyards, right? And these are like right. ocean ships. These aren't, you know, these aren't like freshwater ships. Right. These are ships that actually get worked on. And then there's cement, uh, there's a cement factory, cement right? factory, that's an actual inland port. Wow. And um, they take cement and it goes out all the way out through the ocean and everywhere around the world. Wow. So that, it actually cuts, goes through Stockton, it goes to Antioch, right? Or my I wrong? It goes from Stockton all the way out to the San Francisco Bay. So Stockton would be a starting point. Wow. That's incredible. How deep is the... Delta. I mean, it's got to be pretty it's deep. It varies. Right? Um, here, you're looking 10, 20 foot. Main channel, it's about 50 feet deep. 50 Some feet. Some places deeper. Uh, San Francisco Bay, hundreds. So uh, people will ask too, like, okay, I mean, as California loses a lot of its lakes, lakes are drying up. This one's not. How does this? How does this? How does the Delta get its water? Um, the rivers all flow into the Delta, and then the tidal waters hold it up. Wow, that's that's it? why we don't want to send our water to Southern California. <laughs> yeah, you and every other lake. <laughs> anyway, very cool, man. Thanks for talking to us. You bet. All right.